Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Got a little quick one for you. The reasons why I chose the Can-Am Riker and then a 600 on top of that. It's a question I get a lot because there's options out there. Rode around with uh, Brian and Edward around Three Twisted Sisters for the day and we came across this super sweet view. Thought we'd show it off and drop a little video and answer a good question for you. It's little snips of some of the video that'll be coming out soon from that trip. A little fake Stonehenge we came across. Uh, lots of cool twists and turns. This is the second time we've gone out there. If you've seen the other video before, I chopped a little bit. This one is just us three, so we get down to it and yeah, through Mouse Moto. Yeah, dog. Three Twisted Sisters is, a, is way too cool. Had to get back out there again, do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in this intro while I get started. Lots of motorcycles out there, lots of spiders, Rikers, all kinds of stuff, cars. It, it's a trip if you haven't been out there. Um, but I will have this video coming out, but just wanted to, um, like I said in the intro, man, it was, it was a cool view. Why not do a video out here? Kind of beats, you know, being in the Thrill Miles Moto garage to, to um, run a little topic like that or answer a question. So I uh, got you a good backdrop and uh, hopefully it helps some people out. But for sure, man, I gotta give a shout out to Rolling on Three Wheels, cause just now he hit a thousand subscribers on his channel. If you haven't checked him out, I know you have, cause you probably wouldn't be here. He's been doing it um, for a while now. Uh, so super cool, AKA Shadow Black Rike. Gotta check him out, man. He, he actually just dropped an interview with uh, our homeboy Damon, the Green Lantern Riker. So lots of content to check out. Um, also, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the Patreon site members. Uh, it's We're doing cool things over there. I'll pin a comment below so you can check it out. It's the way to get exclusive Thrill Mouse Moto stickers, videos, sneak peeks. We do a members only live stream. You got to check it out. Let's get started. Why I chose the Can-Am Riker and why the 600. Uh, if it's not comments on each one of the videos, it's definitely DMs on Instagram, uh, Facebook Messenger. So I'll break it down. We're on a trip. Uh, that's a reason. Um, riding with homeboys. We got Rikers. We got bikes. We do not discriminate. That's like the main reason. You can get that with any motorcycle or whatever, but I didn't want a, motor, a regular motor, two-wheel motorcycle. I wanted a Riker. I've had a motorcycle in the past. I was like 23, maybe 25, and I thought I'd have fun with it. I got a, a CB um, 550, 74 and a 76, and put them together. Rode it around for a bit, and I wasn't feeling it. I was kind of into older cars. I ended up trading it with a uh, with a homeboy of mine. And then I ended up getting a Ford Ranchero GT in 1975. And I went back to cars again, messing with old stuff like that and having fun driving around. And I always thought, man, I'd want something like a scooter or, or something different because I tried the bike thing and I saw these. I thought spiders were always cool, but they cost money and they kind of had like a grandpa look to them that I just wasn't into. So the Riker came out for 2019. I didn't find out about them until 2020, seeing like Facebook ads or whatever. I talked about that before. And I was actually thinking about getting a scooter. I mean like a big dog scooter, like ride like 80 something miles an hour on the freeway or like a little Honda Ruckus type of thing. And I was even thinking about Groms. I think that'd be a cool way to get back on two wheels. I thought that was the option until I saw the Riker. And then the price point of it too. So I think between Riker, Spiders and Slingshot, it was the only thing that I knew that I could go into and buy it outright uh, because I'm just not made like that. Even though I have a Riker and these accessories cost a lot of money, I'm still not exactly in the tax bracket for one. But having fun with it, uh, as far as still want a scooter. I thought this would fulfill me having the scooter. I thought when I bought the Miata that I have, I bought a, a 91 Miata for my homeboy, I thought that would fulfill me my needs for the scooter and it didn't uh and then the Riker, and i think i still want one but that's what got me into it and that's kind of answers the why a 600 then a 900 and i wanted a scooter I, people are like oh well a 
hundred, you know, it does this. You want to go pro? I seriously was like, I want to buy a computer. This is too much. This is overkill compared to a scooter that goes what? We're like a ruck is like thirty-five miles an hour. A crom, a crom is like not even fifty or something like that. So it's like, uh, yeah, I'm coming from the act. I wanted to scoot around. I live in like a downtown area of my little town, so it's no thing. And then as far as like people, like Brian, which is my cameraman today, Grandpa, you know, he's got the <laughs> Honda Shadow and he had that before me. So I'm able to ride around with him. Um, we got these big dog V Storms right here too with Edward. So I'm riding with him. I mean, I'm doing like our main Texas route today. That'll be a whole nother video if it's not gonna be out already. It's our second time, Brian and I's second time out to Twisted Sisters. And I'm hanging tight on these hills in the Texas Hill Country, dog. And it ain't no thing. So on um, Y600, because it literally does every single thing I, I want it to. And uh, it was never a thought in my mind as much as people don't like that response or whatever or don't agree with it. I just, I, I didn't even think about any other options. And there really isn't for me, too. People say, you regret getting 900. I say, what's a 900? Yeah, regret not getting a rally. It's like, which one is those? Like the one like this one here? Like that's, I don't, maybe that's bad because I don't really research stuff. I just kind of do what I want. And I think I'm just kind of at that age too. That's how I have it. And I like it a lot. I was thinking about getting a rally or a 900. I'm probably more thinking about just getting something else. Because I think I can get everything I want out of a micro with a 7 or 600. I'm also a single rider, and you can see I don't do the max mount and any of that stuff, the cargo stuff, and I think that I need that little oomph if that's what helps with having a, a passenger on the back. I don't know because that's not me. So this is all opinions because the video is about why I chose the Can-Am Riker. It's not why you should choose one or why most people. I mean, it's really just that. I wish it was a cooler story than one Can-Am Riker, please. 600? Sure, why not? I wanted a scooter. And then I drove it home that day. Uh, I don't have that on video, but I do have it when we bought Ryan's. And Ryan's situation is the same thing with his 600. Um, another reason is uh, this. Uh, Brian, can you get this, this shot in the, in the stream? Here? No, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. That's crazy. This is, this is all the cool stuff of having anything. So the reason why I have a Can-Am Riker is just kind of the reason to have a motorcycle. But why a Riker out of it? Man, I, like I said, I tried the bike thing and I went back to cars. I think it kind of stems from that. It's like I'm cruising. I'm cruising. I pretend I'm on four wheels. I don't even think of it as like three wheels. So, um, man, I'm all about it. Slingshots, I think they're cool. 900, yeah, sure. Rally, cool. Let me get one. Uh, Storm, yeah, that's cool. Let me get one like that too. Strong scooters, big scooters, go karts, scoot trikes. What else is there? I'll take um, unicycle. I'll take, well, yeah, uh, electric unicycles too. <laughs> um, pogo sticks, wheelchairs, wheelchairs like the, the ones from Walmart. Um, any of those things? Yes, please. How do you feel about um, all the exhaust out there, Barry? That they make? I'll take one of each, please. Um, how do you feel about uh, the, what do you call that helmet that you want? The money one? All right. Yeah, all right. Let me get one. What do you think about the, the welfare model uh, AGV? Yeah, I'll take one. What do you think about that Shoei, that $400 one you haven't put on yet, Barry? Yeah, give me one like that. About these uh, toe taper handlebars you put on there, that's a cool upgrade. Yeah, I like those, but I don't like the stock bars. <laughs> don't give me one of those, please. It's like a broom handle. It's like a broom handle with mirrors on the end of it. I don't like that. That is ridiculous. I try to avoid putting anything at the end of that after looking at that uh, for too long. So that's why I got these drop down ones on the turn. See, probably another thing is um, confidence. Uh, I have been on a bike before. I did teach myself how to drive the bike with the manual that I came with from the 1970s. Uh, like how 
to change the gears and everything, and I got that down pretty easy. You just got to get out there and do it. Um, and even then, I think uh, buying this, I'd have way more comfort level of getting crazy. I mean, what was it that first weekend? You and I went and did hill country stuff, dude. And it was like, we were gone for 15 hours, I think. And I realized how much, you know, your arms. I mean, there's so many other things other than just knowing how to ride it. Your body just gets fatigued in weird ways. Neck. Yeah, your neck and everything. And you find out you're not wearing the right stuff or, or whatever. Even, like, shoes. Like, I wore, like, these tubular shoes. And the, the break was real weird because you weren't making contact in the middle of your foot. I mean, little things like that. That's where people comment and they say stuff about having a proper gear and shouldn't be wearing those anymore. But uh, this is about me <laughs> and what I do. So, right? <laughs> this is Thrill Mouse Moto stuff. But man, I wish I had cooler stories to tell about why I got it. But uh, I just did, I just did what I wanted, and this is what I knew about, and, and uh, I did it. Um, and then I'll do that with the next thing and the next thing and everything I've been doing in between And that's just how it be sometimes I rolled the dice on the Can-Am Riker 600 almost a year ago now And I'm pretty sure I won the gamble because I've just been having non-stop fun If you're a subscriber, you've seen the videos Throw Mouse Moto crew, we're out there riding Hey, thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.